What point, at what time did, did you decide that, hey, I might like to become a, a college baseball coach? Well, it's, it's kind of ironic. Coach Fenwood uh, was our, my coach at the fall of my, my senior year at VMI, and uh, he walked out, we were at practice, he walked out to short uh, left field where we were practicing, and he just kind of said, hey, would you be interested in, in coaching in college? And at the time, I was like, absolutely. And so I went through my senior year. Uh, he left to go to VCU to work with Paul Keyes. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and at the time during my senior year, I, I thought more about it. And then obviously I didn't right out of college. I worked in corporate America for two years. And then I realized, you know, it was a passion of mine. I wanted to get back on the field. And, and I ended up uh, going to work at, for Paul Keyes for about two weeks. And uh, I went and worked at camp for Coach Farr down at William & Mary. Mm -hmm. And he hired me right out of the camp. And I told Coach Keyes, I'm leaving. I'm, I'm going to work for Coach Farr for a paid position at William & Mary. And, and that's where I started. What uh, you've mentioned a couple of coaches that uh, certainly have had an influence, uh, Fenwood, while you were there at, at VMI. But what others? Are, are there others, even uh, scholastically or throughout your whole career, that have influenced you now as a, as a head coach? Oh, absolutely. I mean, you know, I, I worked uh, with uh, Coach Farr at William and Mary, one of the best pitching uh, minds in, in 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 all of athletics, I thought. And then I went and worked for Tommy Slater, who was the head coach at uh, VMI. He hired me from. Uh, from William and Mary to come to VMI, and I was an assistant coach with him. And uh, he was he he had been at Auburn for six years. When Coach Baird retired from from Auburn, he had taken he went to VMI to be the next head coach and hired me to be his assistant. And so I got to know obviously very uh, close with Tommy Slater. He's now a minor league hitting coordinator for the Yankees. And then I also got to know Hal Baird very well oh, at yeah. the time. Okay. Good names, definitely good names in the world of college baseball. Uh, you have a young family. Uh, you've got a couple of youngsters that are running around now, probably maybe even remind you a little bit. They're not twins, but may remind you of you and your, your brother when you were tiny tots as well. But uh, to balance uh, the, the day in, in a very time-consuming profession, how do you do that with this young young family, young team that you have? Well, you know, it's uh, I'm, I'm, I'm married to a, an amazing woman who uh, has known me for a long time. Uh, she was 16 and I was 18 when we first started dating. We went our separate ways through college and uh, got back together when I was actually coaching at William & Mary. So she, she understands the profession and knows it's a passion of mine and, 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 and vice versa with her, with her career. And so uh, we're very lucky to have be two beautiful boys. And, uh, you know, I'm excited for the boys to get to know the players and run around the field and, you know, just be a part of, be a part of the baseball community. Well, I know they're young, uh, lucky young men because to, to grow up around college baseball players is certainly, I've seen others like Ty McFarlane. He grew up around and now he's playing in the uh, Yankees organization. It's so. kind of ironic. Ty is actually playing for Tommy Slater in, in, for the Tampa Yankees. Okay, so it's right. a, kind of an ironic time. So. Now, um, you did leave VMI after, well, last year. You were out for a year. What was the what was the rationale? What did you do there? You know, I, I got an opportunity to uh, work for uh, one of my really close friends and, and Mike Hurt and Kelly Underwood with Arm Software. Uh, they, they basically were a company that was changing college athletics and they offered me an opportunity. At the time, my father passed away in September. My mom was by herself. We had our second child. And at the time, I thought it was just a, it was an opportunity I couldn't pass up at, at the time. And so I stepped away for a short six months. Mm -hmm. um, and in, in a nutshell, basically, I was going around talking to college coaches and how, their process of recruiting. And so uh, they asked me to join their team, and, and I was very lucky and honored. And so I decided to do it at that time, which was a, which was a great experience for me. I'll never – it was one of the most fascinating experiences I've ever had in my life. And it's a short period of time, but I, I missed the camaraderie of, mm -hmm. of, the, of, of the guys and of the team. And – the competitiveness between the lines. You know, I got a lot of chance to watch a lot of my friends coach. You know, Sean Stifler at uh, at VCU coaching. I got to watch, uh, you know, Brian O'Connor and two of my former players won a national championship uh, at uh, at UVA. And it was just a, it was a really neat time to kind of watch Coach Hadra in his inaugural year at VMI and watch all the kids that I'd been around. And, and it kind of made me, you know, really see, you know, my passion is is to be on the field. You did coach at your alma mater, VMI. What, as you have left there now, if you look back at that, now you left as the all-time winningest coach there as far as overall number of wins, but what was the most gratifying aspect as you left your alma mater? You know, I think the, 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 the most gratifying aspect was hearing from the, the players that I coached, you know, the, the kids that had graduated and, you know, had the experience of, of, of playing the SEC teams and had the experience of having winning seasons. You know, one of the things that kept me uh, very uh, uh, intrigued about VMI was that 
a lot of people told me that we couldn't win there. Mm -hmm. And I, t I used that as, a, as, as the flame that just kind of kept me kept me going to prove to everybody wrong that you, you could win at a school that hadn't traditionally won and, and we did and, and it came down to recruiting the right type of kids it came down to develop them on the baseball field and it came down to their passion to, to be a college baseball player.